lot of things had just happened. Recall that Bola Metinimbu you know, attended a conference in Saudi Arabia and you need to see exactly what has just happened in that Saudi Arabia. This is coming after a lot of persons, even the supporters of APC, are now coming out to tell Bola Metinimbu that his policies that you know in this particular government is nothing to write home about. The former governor of Oshun State, being uh, you know, Raf Aribushola, came out recently and told Bola Metinimbu that what the policies that the APC has brought has brought severe hardship, as if that is not enough. So we came out recently in a podcast with Nedu and made a expose that are very, very, you know, mind-blowing. I'm going to be showing you all the expose they have made. And this is also coming now that, you know, the Yerobas are now started calling on Bola Metinimbu's resignation, as if that is not enough. Now, as you could see on your screen, this is so, so alarming that every Nigerian now owes about 620,000 according to debt per capita report as we speak. So every Nigerian, both the young, both the old, are owing 620,000 Naira debt per, per, per you know, capita in this particular government that have promised a lot of juicy, made a lot of juicy promises. In the video I'm going to be showing you shortly, you know, so we really came out and made some expose that happened in the last presidential election and even made some, you know, some significant statements that are so detrimental. I'm going to be showing you all of that, but before I do that, I want to leave you with what Rafa Rebo Shalat has just stated recently. Listen attentively to all he stated. This is an APC chieftain. This is also one of the persons that worked in the last administration with you know, President Muhammad Buhari, coming out now to tell the APC government that what they are doing is nothing to write home about. Listen attentively to when we come back, I'll exactly show you what Sowere has stated and how the Yoruba has already glamouring and complaining bitterly over the hardship of this particular country. Who said for forms of government let the full content what is best for the people is simply best. It flows from the question, there is no doubt, the list speaker said it, that we have seen a worsening economic, even political, spiritual condition of Nigerians. You don't you don't need to be a nuclear scientist to know that things are progressively getting bad. How? Smaller percentage of Nigerians are, are, are now prosperous. You see, I see there, are no, there is no prosperity. But it's getting to, it's, it's reducing and reducing. And when, when I was born, and at my development, all the different development, wealth was not as limited to a few number of Nigerians as it is today. And that, what does that signify? It tells us that we are in deep, we are in a deep problem. You see, as to physical sciences are very exact, but social sciences reflect the condition of the people, and that's why it's not exact. So, we will not be here discussing this if things are normal in Nigeria. We know, you will know who have a human people today know that things are not normal. And in addressing it, as far as I'm concerned, I will, be, uh, I will not be as rigid as, the, as uh, uh, Dr. Bugade that uh, look uh, for, for rhetorics, for political correctness, yes, you can say on go. The human beings are the same everywhere. Hunger is hunger. Poverty is poverty. A bad system is a bad system. Whatever does not give the appropriate uh, opportunity or, or right to people will be resisted. No matter what you do to, to prevent it. He, he, he mentioned that uh, he mentioned military rule, he mentioned political system, he, he failed to mention revolution. That look, if all the right things fail, there could be people can revolt. So if you are conscious of all of this and we know the consequences of things getting out of hand, it will interest us to see how best to govern ourselves to ensure that our people are saved in person. That the primary responsibility of every government is the welfare and security of the people. When those two things can no longer be guaranteed, forget it. There can be a stable society. He made a statement significant, notwithstanding that he has also worked with that this government, this APC. If not that Bola Medinibus, you know, is not aligning with him. 
Now he's coming out to tell the government that this and all of that. And he made significant statement. He said, that's to tell you that the hardship is hitting hard. We are likes of Ndume and the rest of them are stating, you know, irrespective of that, the fact that they achieve things in the APC, telling this government that what you are doing is wrong and the policies are nothing to write them about. Look at how companies are living, right, left, right and center. Now listen attentively to how so we remade an expose uh, recently about Bola Metinimbu. All what happened in the last presidential election when we come back, we we'll wrap up. Poor. Mm. Do you have any sort of relationship with him, the president? No, you see, because you see, it is part of what I'm saying. That no relationship lot whatsoever. Of, no, no. If you have relationship with them, they don't even have to tell people. One of their assistants will put it out. It's Nubu twice in my life. First in 1999, when he came from abroad after the whole military rule and he was running for, I met him on the street somewhere. I don't want to describe his state. I've said it. It's not necessary on this show. And then the second time was during the presidential peace committee that we had in 2023, where he sat next to me. And then he was, I think I said he, the video. he was, he was struggling <laughs> to have my program yes. with him. And I said to him, because when he came in, he said, ah, oh, president, she were at. I was like, you can't be a president. Yes, now no, they don't have problem with that. You know, he's what the Yoruba say. You know, Ejeka kwe kini lekwe de le okoyawo kujeka kujia. They just look at you like these crazy people. Let's call them whatever they want <laughs> them to. You know, to call them. And then President he Shore. stretched his hand, not his right hand, mm. but his left hand to shake hand with me. So I quickly just because. If, if, it, if it was photographed, they can say that maybe we are in some kind of secret call together. I didn't make this assertion to be more, you know, legit. Mm. Uh, ah, don't you see that they shook hands? Mm. They get what some, some kind of way. Yeah, they could say mm. they'd be a boonie now. You understand? Mm. So get where did they meet. Mm. So I quickly removed my hand. So I, he was... You don't shake him? No, I, he shook me, but I also shook him with my left hand and removed it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think... And I've been told that his right hand is bad. Mm. Yes. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but okay. I think he's struggling with the right hand. Mm. Uh, so, so he, his first attitude is to protect that. And you notice that when they're shaking the right hand, most people will use two hands. They hold it first and shake it. Okay. It's AIDS. They do that a lot. So, and then I started focusing on the program. And uh, then I started looking at my program. And then next I see he was struggling with me to read my program. So I said to him, ah, so you have your own program. Now that pro because he has two programs, one on the right. And he just said in Yoruba, now. <laughs> so I left the program for him. Because in my mind, I think, I'm thinking this guy wants to prove that I'm close to him. And they're like cameras going off oh, everywhere. Okay. Interestingly, nobody then showed the point where I was talking to him. The only part of the program I saw was where, in fact, one guy went and made a whole show about it that, oh, I was talking to him and all that. Then the chairman of their party, Ganduji, kept him busy. I think they were afraid that he might fall asleep. So he just kept talking to him and talking to him. And he too kept talking throughout the event. I remember specifically when Buhari was reading his listen and he was making fun of Buhari. He said, Look at this one. He wants to use currency this thing to solve Nigeria corruption problem. <laughs> he was just like soliloquizing throughout the time. And at the point, even Ganduje was like, kind of, because people could hear him mm. just mocking Buhari, you know, and I was sitting next to him. I was between him and Peter Obi. So, so I just focused throughout because for, in my mind, I think he was trying to create a scenario where it would be believable that somehow I guess I know his powers like that. And this is exactly the expose that was made in Saudi Arabia. It is so, so alarm blowing. As you could see on your screen. Lame Tinimbu landed in Saudi Arabia, but he was received by ordinary deputy governor. You know, you know, this is so, so alarm blowing that the president of this particular country arrived in Saudi Arabia and he was not even recognized. It was just 
so, you know, deputy governor that came down to recognize him. This Nigerian started calling that this is a, an embarrassment to the pedigree of Nigerians. That the president arrived and a deputy governor is the one coming to welcome you. What happened to the minister? What happened to the prime minister in that particular country? What happened to the president or whosoever? That is to say that they are not even perturbed over what is happening because probably Bola Metinimbu is just an ordinary man over there. Because of how we have, you know, wash the dirty linings outside. Look at the, look at the, look at what each Nigerian is owing. 620,000 naira. From where will this Nigerian start paying this debt? And that is why you see this taxation, taxes come right and center, you know, income tax and all direct and indirect tax coming and hitting the masses. Many persons have started glamouring that this is severe hardship. Government that is supposed to provide social amenities, protect lives and properties. When these two things are not met, then what is the government doing? Now look at the expose that she already made. That all this happened about Bola Metinbu. And now look at what, look, you know, the country is just there without moving. It's on the comment section. I haven't seen this expose and what happened.